talk about Peter's performance. How does the scarf suit me, Anne? Oh, very well. You look fine. Really? I'm not sure. Look, maybe this one looks better. Don't panic, Peter. Everything is going to be all right tonight. I don't know. Actually, I have a sore throat. I'll sing badly tonight, I'm sure. Come on, Peter. You will sing very well. You are a professional singer. Don't forget it. Well, I'm going to have some tea. Would you like some? Thank you, Anne. I would really like a cup of tea, if it's not too much trouble. No, not at all. I'll just add some water to the pot. A cup of tea and my chocolate cake will keep your mind off the musical. For five minutes, at least. Shall I give you a hand? Uh, yes, thanks. Here is the cake. Oops! Oh, Peter! Okay, listen. I know you are nervous, but try to be careful, please. I'm sorry, Anne. How do you think the musical will go? I think it will go very well. Greece is considered a classic musical. It's successful, entertaining. There will be loads of people clapping. Do you really think so? Sure I do. Hey, Peter, what time does the show start? At nine o'clock. How are we going to get to the theater? I'm going to drive. I don't think that's a very good idea. Why not? Because parking there is almost impossible. Okay, we'll take the tube. That's a much better idea. When shall we leave? Around 8.30? No, that's too late. Okay, we'll leave earlier. Oh, I'm so sorry, Anne. Peter, you're hopeless. Okay, okay, listen. I think you need to relax a bit. Why don't you go and take a nap? I can't sleep. I'm too nervous. Okay. Why don't you rehearse your part again? I can't. I can't remember anything. Okay, okay. Go wherever you want. Just please leave me alone. Please. Hi, Anne. Hi, Peter. I'm starving. Is there anything to eat? How can you think about the food at a time like this? Why? What's the matter? What's the matter? The performance is tonight! Come on, Peter, don't panic. Everything is going to be all right tonight. Don't worry. Why does everyone tell me the same stupid things? Because it's the truth. Look, Peter, take this lucky charm. I bought it in Portobello Market this morning. I'll give it to you as a lucky mascot. Remember, you have to kiss it three times and then keep it in the right pocket of your jacket. Why just the right pocket? Well, I don't know. The woman who gave it to me said this is what you have to do. Anyway, I'm sure it will bring you luck. Mm, I'm not so sure. Why not? 
Shall we bet on it? All right. Sounds like fun. How much? Oh, let's make it interesting. If it brings you luck, you'll take me to dinner at Bluebird. Bluebird? Are you crazy? That's London's most expensive restaurant. I know, I know. But the musical is important to you, Peter, isn't it? All right, Alice. What will you do if it doesn't bring me luck? Well, I will cook dinner for a month. But you can't cook. Ah, uh -uh, Peter. That's why I said it. This way, I'm sure you will make it bring you luck. Well, guys, why don't we go to the cinema tonight? That's a great idea. What's on? Well, there's this new film with Schwarzenegger. That should be good. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. What would you suggest? How about going to the disco? The disco? Are you crazy, Alice? That's not even music. That's simply noise. Come on, Peter. It's Saturday night. We have to do something special. Something exciting. And going dancing is surely more exciting than going to the cinema. I agree with Alice. Let's go dancing. What about a third choice? I guess Anne is right. Why don't we try to find a good compromise? Come on, guys. How boring and old-fashioned are you? And you are more frivolous than I am, Alice. Come on, guys. Don't argue now, please. Let's vote on it. Well, Alice and I want to go dancing. Peter and Anne don't. How about you, Sharon? I don't know. Well... The disco is probably more entertaining than the cinema. Great! Okay, guys. Three against two. Let's go dancing. Here's my party hat. How do you like it? You look great! I envy you. The hat really suits you. Well, I envy your room, Anne. But with all this traffic, how do you sleep? Oh, I'm used to it. Which disco are we going to? Paradise. It's a new disco on King's Road. It's very nice. Did Tom and you go there together? Yes, we went last Saturday. We spent a nice night together. Maybe I asked the wrong question. You don't like Tom, do you? He's boring. Very boring. Besides, he's an Aries. And he talks too much. Last night, for example. He showed me all the pictures of his holiday in the Alps. He talked for an hour about the mountains. But I hate the mountains. Why do you say that? The mountains are beautiful and spectacular. I prefer the beach. It's more relaxing and entertaining. Oh, I don't know. I think the beach is more boring than in the mountains. Why do you say that? Well, think about it. Lying on the beach every day? It's much more interesting to be walking in the countryside. (music) 
Yes, but it's usually colder in the mountains. I think the beach is also more romantic. Girls, stop talking nonsense. How do I look? You look very pretty, Alice. Thanks, Sharon, but you look better than me. No, how can you say that? You are much more tanned than I am. Yes, but you are in better shape. And me? How do I look? You are very pretty too, Anne. I'm sure I'm not nearly as beautiful as you. Come on, guys. Stop making stupid comparisons. Let's just say that we are all different. Hey, girls. Okay, are you ready? I need your advice. Which shirt is better, according to you? The red one. It's much better than the blue one for a disco night. And you, Sharon? What do you think? Well, I think the red one is funnier, while the blue one is more professional. I prefer the blue one. So, girls, which shirt should I put on? I told you, the red one. With that one on, you'll look more macho. Yes, macho, that's the right word. Really? Macho? I like it. Okay, I'll put on the red shirt. Do you agree with Alice, Sharon? About being macho, I mean. Come on, Jack. It's late. The disco is waiting for us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.